What's up everybody? Welcome to Turbo World. Today we're going to show you how to put a transmission in a car by yourself. Now you don't have to be a muscle man. You don't have to be huge. None of that. There's a couple things you need to know about regular transmission jacks you can buy. First thing is, you got to lift the transmission up onto the jack, which is usually about this far off the ground. The car is usually on jack stands about this far off the ground. Not a lot of room to deal with it. So we're going to get with it and show you that. This is the box that had all the bolts for those oil pans in the last video that I showed. If you hadn't seen that video, check it down below. You'll love the trick about washing the upper oil pan in the jacuzzi. It's awesome. All right, let's get to it. Today's victim, 1997 BMW 540i. Six-speed manual. We have the meats. This is the little guy. Well, this little guy is kind of misleading. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Probably weighs 100 pounds or so. It's not too bad, but when you look at the distance from here to here, yeah, from here, hey, come on, from here to there, it's not much. How in the wide, wide world of sports are we going to do this? All right, now let's go look at our transmission jack. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Wait till you get a load of this. Oh, shoot, there it is. But in the resting position, the platform, it's as tall as the damn transmission, man. What in the hell am I going to do now? <sighs> hey, let's focus on the positive. You got it out, right? You can probably get it back in. We'll figure it out together. Check it. We already know you had a couple jacks to do this. What are the chances you got a block of wood, too? Meet my block of wood. My friend Woody and I were driving down the road one time in Houston, in the middle of the city. And he's, he hits me on the shoulder as I'm driving. He's like, whoa, look at that block of wood ahead. I said, what block of wood? And he points. And I'm like, holy crap, that's huge. He's like, yeah, you want me to grab it? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I can always use a good block of wood. So he jumps out of the car and grabs it. There's my block of wood. We're going to use that. We're going to use this. And if we get extra froggy and want to show you a third method, we might even use that and that. All right, enough of the jokes. Let's get to work. So there's our engine and our flywheel and our pressure plate. All that's bolted up and centered. I pulled the alignment tool out of it. Got it laying on the ground with all the other various tools I need for this job scattered all around the world. Because I like to have a really non-socially distanced environment you know what i mean i like to have my friends close like my allen wrenches and sockets and extensions and whatnot but anyway we're gonna pull this transmission over here we're gonna put a block of wood down we're gonna put it on the block of wood we're gonna lift up the tail housing we're gonna slide the transmission jack under the transmission while holding the transmission in the air now, this isn't for the faint of heart and you can definitely damage yourself by doing this if you're the weak of heart and you're not fully committed to doing the job. So if you don't want to do it that way, you can use a floor jack to jack up the back of it once you set the transmission on top of the floor jack. But you can't really get out of the fact that you have to lift the transmission physically by hand somehow, some way. Unless you got ropes and cables and whatnots. So, this is what we're gonna do. First, you gotta be barefooted. It's a very important fact. You have to be barefooted. You've got to be grounded to the earth, spiritually, mentally, and your soul has to be centered. Your chakra has to be strong, and you have to have enough political conviction and belief and passion to push it on everybody else. So here we go. Probably should get some stuff out of the way. Probably 
get some stuff out of the way. I need more light in this situation. Yeah. It's closer. Ah. bad parts bringing it from here to here that's the hard part but once you get up here it's like oh that's pretty light that ain't too bad now if it fell on my hand it'd be real bad if it fell on any part of my body no sir we ain't continuing this video you heard me mm -mm. so let's not do that several primal methods you can use to do all this nonsense. You can use a hammer to adjust your wedge. It's been known for years to be the tool of choice. There's that socket I've been looking for. Come here. Come here, fella. Now I have this box here to hold this drive shaft up. Because if it moves more than that angle, then it's going to be hurting. So, we got a fine little maze that we've made here. See how easy and painless that was, guys? I mean, seriously. What's the big problem? I don't know why people charge so much money for this. It's just so easy. Now, if y'all want barefoot, then y'all were doing it wrong. And uh, also, if you want to see how to put the rest of this transmission back in the car, then check out our next video when we actually put it back in the car. The summary of it is, there's no easy way to do this job. And there was really only one way that I showed you how to do it. You could do it with ratchet straps, you could do it with levers and boards and 4x4s and 2x4s. You could do it with all that kind of stuff. The honest thing about it is, you just have to work hard to do it what it is. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell because here at Turbo World we make things go faster and last longer. Everybody likes a little bit of cowbell so hit that bell. Thanks for watching.